this is my first tutorial. I'm going to be speeding through a lot of this and just kind of jumping in here and there to give you a couple things that maybe aren't very clear. I hope you enjoy this and let me know if you have any questions and hopefully I will have some other tutorials coming out here shortly. don't make very clear here is this part where I'm really highlighting is just with tags pearl white and the rest of the white that you'll see me putting on my face is a matte white which is diamond effects um, you really want to put the pearlescent white where you want the luminosity and to give it dimension but if you put it all across the face you're really gonna come out with a little bit of a flat look so have fun and play around, but especially when you're working with whites, it can get a little bit tricky. Another thing is don't worry too much about the coverage, at least with this look. You're going to be going in with some black as well, um, and a lot of details, so it doesn't matter if it's totally solid or not. black after doing this full coverage of white can be a little bit intimidating but there really isn't a whole lot of precision in at least this phase of the look. You'll be going back in here with a foundation brush and kind of getting a little bit more of the precise lining and just bringing out really those dark dark areas that you want to find. So for the contour on the nose, I go in with the same foundation brush uh, to do the first part of the line and then a dry brush to blend it out. After I'm done blending with the dry brush, I grab the same black eyeshadow that I used on my eyes to continue defining the nose and give it the shape that I was looking for. I continue to define the cupid's bow and under the lips just to really bring out the sharpness and the features that I am hoping to accentuate. So, I am making my first tutorial and I had some technical difficulties that I did not know would be coming about. Um, I was borrowing someone else's equipment and their battery died, and this time I'm using my equipment that doesn't have really any way to see if this is even going to be in focus, so here's to crossing my fingers. Um, I had proceeded to do some detail work that you will not be able to see in the video and I'm, for that I am very sorry and hopefully from here forward everything will be on film. So bear with me and we will move from here.
If you look up images of the black thorn plant, you will see that it has very green leaves and little delicate white flowers along with sometimes small blue berries. Inside of the flower are little yellow dots which I used neon orange for this particular look. I just thought that it added a little, little bit more dimension and interest to the look itself. no look is complete without a little bit extra sparkle so I just added a few gems here and there to bring out the flowers and a little more detail. I want to thank you so much for watching my tutorial and hope that you enjoyed this and thank you so so much to Insomniac Stream. I have looked up to you so much since the Nick Space Awards and really feel like that is what has gotten me so far into the creature looks. <laughs>